welcome to Prudent Media News. Let's have a look at the top stories. The most wanted police constable in police drugs mafia nexus case Sanjay Parab surrenders in NDPS court. Court remands Parab to seven days police custody. Petrol adulteration suspected to be an interstate racket. CBI to investigate into the case on national level. Bus owners allege transport department of taking hafta. Transport department denies allegations. High Court Public Prosecutor Vini Kutino resigns. Government accepts her resignation following crusade by advocate Iris Rodriguez. India's expedition to Arctic region to commence on 25th May. NIO and NCAO are jointly to study a long-term climate change for the first time. Former India Test cricketer Raghuram Bhatt and Goa's Ranji coach Rajesh Kamath praise grassroots talent in Goa. And Goa boys and girls win against Andhra Pradesh and Jharkhand at 15th Sub Junior National Tennis Ball Cricket Championship. And now the news in detail. Suspended police constable Sanjay Parav finally surrendered in the NDPS court at Mapsa. Sanjay had withdrawn the anticipatory bail from the High Court on Thursday. NDPS court has remanded Parav to seven days police custody. Police had failed to nab Sanjay for more than two months. Most wanted cop Sanjay Parav finally surrendered at the NDPS court in Mapsa. Parav was absconding since Pruden exposed nexus between drug mafia and police. Crime branch had issued lookout notice against Parav. Parav was earlier working with the anti-narcotic cell. He had moved anticipatory bail in the High Court, which he had withdrew on Thursday. Under the law, he is arrested, and uh, seven days police custody is granted to him. No, he is taken in custody. He we will do the investigation. Crime branch has so far arrested police inspector Ashish Shirodkar, police constable Sandeep Parab, head constable Hussain Sheikh, constable Saish Pokre. Constable Ramchandra Kankonkar, PSI Punaji, and drug peddler Atala and Dudu in drug mafia police nexus case. Our principal correspondent Murari Shetia with video journalist Ravindra Dravi for Prudent Media. Petrol adulteration is an interstate racket. CBI has now reached Karnataka to investigate this case. CBI will also investigate this case at national level as it is suspected that the racket is operating all over the country. CBI raided two places in South Goa. They seized 15,000 litres of petrol and diesel. Four people are arrested in this case. Our sources say that petroleum adulteration is being carried out all over the country. Sources confirm that CBI will continue their raids in various parts of the state. Black acid and other materials are used to adulterate petrol and diesel. These materials are bought from Karnataka. To investigate this case further, CBI team has gone to Karnataka. Senior CBI officials inform that due to shortage of manpower, they cannot raid all the places at one time. Petrol pump owners have now started filling the pinch as some of the truck and bus owners buy adulterated petroleum products. Petrol pump owners claim that people should be made aware about such adulteration. They have asked Sarpanch and police officials to make people aware about this issue, especially in rural areas. Efficient fuel, burn fuels are available. Car engine efficiency, what the line? That is efficiency. Did they have to? Apun, I have made that. The customer has no idea what to do. That is why they are not doing anything. That is why the transporter, the people who are involved. तातुन पंपाले यंग इतली स्ट्रिक्ट गाइडलाइंस आसार आजकल पब्लिक लोकांग एक एक दान पढ़ना कि किधे गाइडलाइंस आसार कि एडल्ट्रेशन के लो पंपालो जर सपोर्ट लो जलेर ये कुड़ भी टर्मिनेटेड मुझे तांची डीलरशिप बोतुंग शक्ता 
या भयानुई कोण पंप वाले सहजा ये कर पाक वचन अ सीनियर रिपोर्टर फ्रॉम पंची राकेश कानोळकर विद व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट सुशांत पळ बस ओनर्स एसोसिएशन हैज अलेज ट्रांसपोर्ट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ टेकिंग हफ्ता फ्रॉम द बस ओनर्स द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द एसोसिएशन कम्स इन द वेक ऑफ अ मीटिंग ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्ट डिपार्टमेंट हेल्ड ऑन थर्सडे द मीटिंग हैड डिसाइडेड टू कीप क्लोज वॉच ऑन व्हीकल्स टू रिड्यूस एक्सीडेंट्स General Secretary of Bus Owners Association Sudip Tamankar has alleged that North Goa Assistant Transport Director Prahlad Desai is taking hafta from bus owners. He said that such kind of corrupt purposes will fail every attempt to check accidents. Tak jo pe assistant director is enforcement ta gaha Prahlad Desai heni sar ki North Goa side in complete total wat la nudelle liya. To fakt बस मालकान कडसून हप्ते कलेक्ट करपे आणि ते ट्रान्सपोर्ट मिनिस्टरक पावपे काम करता असे मला तरी दिसता हाय लेवल मीटिंग ऑफ ट्रान्सपोर्ट डिपार्टमेंट वॉज हेल्ड ऑन थर्सडे इन दिस मीटिंग अ डिसिजन वॉज टेकन टू कीप अ क्लोज वॉच ऑन द व्हीकल्स डिरेक्शन आर इशू टू टेक नोट ऑफ द व्हीकल्स वायोलेटिंग ट्रॅफिक रूल्स बट बस ओनर्स असोसिएशन हॅज कॉल दिस मूव नथिंग बट आय वॉश पंधरा दीस स्ट्रिक्टली चॅकिंग करपा की निवळ जनतेच्या दोळ्यान धूळ फेक केलेली आहे कियाक तर हेचे कडे आमचे कडे आम्ही खूप फावटी जेव्हा वाहतूक मंत्र्याकू सांगले आणि असिस्टंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ ट्रान्सपोर्टचे दोन एन्फोर्समेंटचे असिस्टंट डायरेक्टर असतात त्यांना आम्ही खूपशा फावटी असोसिएशना मार्फत मेमोरंडम दिले पण आजपासून ते सारखे कमी पडलेले आहे हे डिस्क्लोज दॅट द ट्रान्सपोर्ट डिरेक्टर्स आर युजली ट्रान्सफर्ड विद इन सिक्स मंथ्स ही फाइन्स दिस वन as the one of the reason of corruption tamankar also highlighted partial behavior of the transport department khas karun prallad desai wo jo monis aso aha ja jager overloading gadiyo pe eta thoi tar teka permit diupak naka ani ja jager pe khali gadiyo chalta thoi tar to permit rita ani yogya paisa yogya taren donoi kadle collection karta ani time to time transport minister ak pavoita however north goa assistant transport director prallad desai has denied the allegations ते बेष्टे पोप मारपाची सवय त्यांना व्हडले काय ना आणि हप्ते बिप्ते म्हणतात ती गजल ना हप्ते असले जर आम्ही तसे ओपन तकले म्हणजे डेरिंगली वसून तुका लावून ती हे करत असे करतात ना आम्ही आता चलन दिले की त्यांना दुखता फाईन पडली की त्यांचे प्रॉब्लेम जातात त्यांची गाडी सस्पेंड केली की त्यांना प्रॉब्लेम जातात मागीर ते एलिगेशन करप आर रिपोर्टर फ्रॉम पणजी देविदास कांबळी विथ व्हिडिओ जर्नलिस्ट ओमकार फळारी फॉर प्रुडंट मीडिया High Court Public Prosecutor Vini Kutino has resigned from her post on Friday. Her resignation is accepted by the government. Advocate Iris Rodriguez had started crusade against her. Vini Kutino who was in the news last month resigned from the post on Friday. Advocate Iris Rodriguez has alleged her of corruption. Advocate Iris had also demanded Vini's removal. He had opposed her appointment as the judge of the High Court. A few days later, a five-member delegation led by Advocate Iris Rodriguez had met the governor and urged him to immediately terminate kutino i am really happy that uh, mini kutino has finally resigned because uh, uh, she is somebody who has uh, disgraced high position of a public prosecutor and uh, by resigning from the post uh, that is good news for goa and goa's judiciary uh, only thing uh, i am requesting the chief minister now once again that uh, and i have asked the chief minister on so many occasions yeah. that the chief minister should order a inquiry into all the illegal assets acquired by vini kutino and uh, father oscar quadros all yeah. these business deals have to be inquired because the people of goa have a right to know of the illegal deal uh, deals that uh, vini kutino and oscar quadros have uh, done over the years at the people's cost a senior reporter rakesh kanurkar time for a short break stay tuned for more news